YouTube family, welcome back to my channel and this week's Beauty Tuesday. In today's video, I have a whole bag here with my empty beauty products. So, as soon as I have been finishing a beauty product, either makeup or beauty related, I have put it in this box to film to show you what I've been using and to tell you what I think about them, if I will repurchase or not. And there is a lot to cover in this one, so we better dig right into it. So I'm just gonna put my hand here and take something out and we're gonna see. So I have the Elizabeth Arden 8 hour cream all over miracle oil for face and body. So this one I have been using up even though to be honest I never liked this one so much. I uh, have used it up but I would not repurchase it. I don't see the purpose like it's not doing me something and it was kind of expensive. It was like $30 for this bottle and I can just not see myself repurchasing it because it's just like a dry oil and it's not doing anything special, so nothing I will repurchase. And we have the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Powder in Neutral Beige, so it's completely empty. But this Focus Focus Powder was my favorite, I loved it and if you're using up a powder, I bet you understand that it's something that I really like and I, I have already another one that I have digged into, so Definitely a good one and something I will repurchase over and over again even though it's hard to get your hands on it in Sweden. A face cream, this is Yves Rocher Anti-Age Global. Um, I have not even finished up everything. This is a face cream, I don't feel anything special with this face cream. It's nothing I will repurchase, it's not bad and it's not good. Just a face cream that I used up and I didn't feel anything special for it, so yeah. Yeah, nothing I will repurchase. What else do we have? Eyelashes. I have gone through many eyelashes, but uh, the only time I remembered to put it in this bin was when I used this one, and it was a collaboration with Nicole Guerrero. Guerrero, yeah. She's a YouTuber. So um, this is the eyelashes and I actually really liked these eyelashes. They were very wispy but not super super long so definitely something I could um, pick up again but I don't think you can buy them in Sweden. I bought them in the States. Then we have Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. Definitely something I will repurchase. I don't know why I haven't already done it because this is a really good setting spray so definitely something I will purchase again. We have some Anastasia Browis. Here are three that are empty and uh, I go through them like crazy. This is the only brow pencil that is good enough for me to be honest. I have been trying to buy cheaper ones but this is the only one that is working for me. I always, always go back to my Anastasia brow pencil and it's the Brow Wiz. This is a ride or die for me, cannot live without this one. I have put this one in here, I don't know which brand it is, but it's this kind of shaving, like face shaver. I do this on a regular, if you do want me to do a video where I show you how I shave my face to get rid of the peach fuzz, I can do that. But I have put it in here because it's something I have used up. You can just use one like a few times, then you have to throw it away and get a new one. So here we have a foundation and this is a brand that I discovered in the US. I cannot even see. Oh, this is a bummer. I cannot even see because it's so faded out. Uh, so I cannot see what it's called anymore. Yeah, it's Color Previal, Previals, Previals, Color Previals, New York. It's a US brand. Uh, I used this foundation up completely and I loved this foundation. I have a very dry skin and this foundation was super good for my skin tone and skin type. So definitely something I would repurchase if I could but I have never seen this in Sweden so I don't know if I can but I really liked this foundation. Transderma. 
I've been running through many more bottles than this one, but this is the only one that I remembered to put in my empty box here. Yeah, this is the only one. Transderma is the best serum that are out there. There are no other serums that are as good as Transderma. They are a little bit pricey, but I have even been trying other brands like La Mer for example that are much higher in prices and I still prefer Transderma. This is the vitamin A serum, but I love all of them. So I have a bottle lotion here. This is the Ritual Honey Touch. Nothing I felt anything special with. I didn't love it, I didn't hate it. Just a normal body lotion. Here, on the other hand, is a body lotion that I really, really like. And it's the Spa Exclusive Timeless Delight body lotion. And this is a very good one because it has a scent that goes for both female and male. So it's a very nice one. Keeps you hydrated, not super expensive. Really like this body lotion. Here is my Rexona Dio spray that I use. I actually use a spray and a normal Dio. So I put the normal Dio first and then I put the spray and that's because I feel like the spray is taking away any odor. So I use the Nivea Black and White Invisible Deodorant and the Rexona Black and White Spray. I do not like the Nivea spray. I don't know why, but I just do not like it. Then we have the Vic Victor and Rolf Bon Bon Perfume and this is my ride or die perfume. This is like everyone that knows me say that this is like my scent. So I have already repurchased this one and I will repurchase it until I get tired of it, which I hopefully will never do because I love this perfume. I have a few mascaras here. Um, so a few of them. This is an Astro mascara, not something that I really loved. This one is I don't even see it's oh it's rubbed off but if you see a mascara like this stay away because it's super bad and the same thing with this 7x volume curl mascara this one also super bad mascara don't spend your money even though all of these are very affordable mascaras they are all crap but this one the pink duck london mascara it's a very affordable mascara and honestly a very very good one i really love this mascara and i have repurchased it so many times but i buy it in spain and there i pay two euros for it so it's a very affordable one love it then i have a bronzer and this is my Too faced chocolate soleil bronzer and i had it in this travel kit and it's some crumbles left in there but not so much so you can use it I really like this one, to be honest, uh, really like the Too Faced as a brand and this Chocolate Soleil bronzer was a very good bronzer. I can definitely repurchase this one. Good for everyday use. Then I have a brow pencil that I honestly haven't finished up because it's so bad and it's the NYX Professional Makeup Fix and Fluff pencil that is supposed to be a copy. Yeah, I have been finishing it, honestly. Uh, and it's a copy for the Anastasia Brow Definer and I never liked it. It smudges all over and it didn't stay in place and it's just not good. I didn't like it, so will not repurchase that one. My Benefit Browis Brow Definer. It's... I cannot see the name anymore. I loved this one. I got it in a gift kit and I loved it. And then I purchased the normal size and I didn't like it as much. But I have another dupe for this that I really love that I will share with you. And that is why I will not repurchase this one. But I like it, but I do not love it. We have a Real Technique sponge that I really like. Uh, can repurchase this. It's either this or the Beauty Blender that I go for most of the times. Then I have another one of my deodorant. It's the same as the other one. And then I have three face creams. So it's all from the brand Revuel. Revuel. Here you see the name of the brand. So it's three different ones. Uh, one is illuminating, one is, yeah, one is a day cream with sun protector and two is night creams. I go through face creams like crazy and I try so many different ones. These are all very affordable ones. And I would say, well, not bad ones, but it's not super ones either. I mean, I take my Transderma serum and then I go with like something moisturizing on top. 
I can repurchase them because they are so inexpensive, but it's not something that I will go and hunt for to get. So they are okay, if you say like that. Okay, so that is everything for today's empties. Let me know if you do like this kind of video where I save everything that I go through. This is not everything, but everything that I remember to save. So let me know if you do like this kind of video and give it a thumbs up if you did. I hope that you want to be a part of my YouTube family if you are not already and hit that little subscribe button. And with that being said, I want to say thank you so much for being with me here on this Tuesday and thank you so much for watching and I hope I will see you in tomorrow's Wildcard Wednesday video. But for this time I say bye!